Hello there, I'm Gav and you've joined me next to a piece of someone's car. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating that classic method of breaking a car window using the smashed up ceramic of a spark plug. These can be pretty tough. I've watched rocks bounce off them. I once failed to break one with a sledgehammer. This car, who made this car? <laughs> <laughs> Very embarrassing. I've actually had this car door for several years, but I've been putting off making this video because I was waiting for a new phantom to be invented. And it's been invented. This is the Phantom TMX 7510. At the time of this recording, this is the fastest phantom what has ever been made. At its maximum resolution of around 720p, we'll do over 75,000 frames per second. Reducing the height of the frame, taking out that resolution will increase the speed up to a maximum of 1.75 million frames per second. As we've learned from videos in the past, glass cracks extremely quickly. And even at maximum resolution on this, it's still gonna be very fast, even at around 75,000 frames a second. But I think we should do it, get that lovely full resolution shot, and then I'll pull out another piece of glass and maybe we'll get insane with the frame rate. The maximum resolution of this sensor is 1280 by 800. And at that resolution, you get 70, just over 76,000 frames per second. And I've made myself a preset here that just shaves a little bit off the vertical resolution, but is still inclusive of 720p. And at that resolution, we can shoot 82,000 frames per second. All right, let's start recording. Now, every single second that goes by, this camera is taking 82,000 pictures. First things first. So it's these jagged edges that are supposedly gonna do the damage. Okay, we're all framed up. It's a very dirty window, but to be honest, that's helped me focus on it. And uh, we're backlighting it to really light up those cracks in the glass as they form. Here we go. So far, the embarrassment continues. Bit of a chunky piece here, but it does have a jagged edge, so I'm just going to try that. Ooh, that worked, didn't it? Oh, that just makes me happy. The circle, that fierce travel, it's still so fast. The light as it starts reflecting off all of the cracks brightens up the area so much, it actually lights up the detail in the spark plug. That's such a crazy effect. I've never seen a glass break travel in such high resolution. I filmed glass at higher resolutions, like with the 4K at a thousand, but usually you're getting one or two frames of crack. And there's really no indication of how fast it is other than, yes, it's fast. This is like, yes, it's fast, but, and look how fast. <laughs> Do you want to go faster? Me too. I'm glad we agree. Hindsight should have probably put down top. So let's see what we can do. Any changes to the width on this camera will not benefit us in terms of frame rate. The width is always the same, unless you're in a bind mode, but the height is where we get our speed from. Let's push it. Let's push our luck. Six hundred. <laughs> Six hundred. What, what if we do half a million? As of this second, this is now the fastest we've ever shot on this channel. Half a million frames a second. So one of the major issues with, <laughs> with being at half a million frames a second is our exposure time is one microsecond. That's one millionth of a second. Putting the shutter angle any lower puts us below the microsecond range. We're now in nanoseconds. That's 944 nanoseconds. And I think as we go down, it will actually reflect that. If we get low enough, 
<laughs> I've never, I've never seen that before. <laughs> 100 nanoseconds. I'm not going to waste a ton more money on proper like automotive tempered glass. So this is a $10 cutting board, which supposedly is also tempered glass. And because we're at such a high frame rate, we're only looking at a very thin piece of it anyway. Okay, I can't actually see anything. I'm hoping that when I break the glass, the cracks light up the image enough to see what the heck is going on. Okay, let's get that one on. Should be enough. Half a million frames per second. This is what we're using. It's got some quite nice jagged edges on it. Here we go. So that was actually just a tiny piece of the ceramic. It didn't have the spark plug going through it. All right, I may be getting carried away here. I've got the camera set to 800,000 frames a second, and the exposure time for each frame is around 600 nanoseconds. Whoa! <laughs> so it's actually very difficult to queue up because by turning the knob, I'm just skipping it skips like hundreds of thousands of frames. 2,630 minutes of footage from that. <laughs> we recorded almost 4 million frames. Whoa. <laughs> this is an absolutely insane speed. Not only can you see the travel leisurely move from left to right, you can actually see the travel of the cracks up and down within that left to right. You can almost follow the front of each crack and watch where it decides to go. Of around the four million pictures the camera just took, the crack traveled through the frame in only 145 of those frames. All right, I have one cutting board left, and I think a nice way to finish off this video would be just to drop it on its edge, because tempered glass is usually weak to impacts on the edges. We've got the phantom down here. We'll just do a, a nice full res shot again at around 80,000 frames a second. It's just so cool to look at. Well, there we have it. I think we got some top draw footage there. The jagged edges on these pieces of spark plug are insanely sharp. And you can, you know, without any mass really, damaging enough to break a window. Not very accurate to throw something so light. The best shot I got was actually when the ceramic was still around the shaft of the spark plug. This thing is my honest review. This thing is bonkers. I'm very excited to use this on other subjects that we've never been able to capture before. You know, like slowing a bullet right down or that brief moment right at the start of an explosion. Very excited to use this in future. And I'm very excited for other people in the slow-mo community to get their hands on this. <clears throat> and hopefully it really opens up some new doors for us subject-wise. If you're excited to see what we get up to with this beast in the future, make sure you stay subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.